Julian. We've got Rio or Eric Rowe. I think our videos can help me. His report says that Jared is uh, back in talk to the Patriots and the possible re-sign in the future. Still upset about like his contract. Really good. Because he has for more money in his free agency contract, which is this year and next year. It's a pay that you really don't do. Except for Brady and maybe Grunt. Yep. But Gilmore, they wanted from Buffalo for his Ryan. They gave him a five year deal for 65 million. But they wouldn't need to uh, make a deal with Malcolm Butler. Oh. So he's testing free agency, and he's already taken a trip to New Orleans and talked to Sean Payton, coach of the New Orleans Saints. Definitely. But he might not be able to do so because they've already traded for Brandon Cooks and they did not include. Uh, Butler and the trade for when you see the band cooks from the Saints, but mm -hmm. that's already gone down. See so that if they were to get Butler to the Saints in a trade, they have to make a second trade to the Saints. Oh, because he's already missed the first trade that he just got to bond to the other one. And he still has that restricted army trip to create a thing that they have against him. Really if so, he'll be there with Gilmore, which is interesting because then they've also got Will and Eric Rowe, Morgan Ryan, and Stephen Gilmore, and technically Devin McCoury is his cornerback, but I guess on their roster he's a free safety, but the cornerback. It's like his twin brother before he's a free safety. Oh, dude. Yeah. Seven cornerbacks or something? It's pretty messed up. And it's pretty secondary also. <laughs> See what it is? Oh, and uh, Cyrus Jones is still there. And Justin Coleman is still there too, as cornerbacks. Now they're in the AFC side, I and mean, it's not the NFC. They're using passes more. So they can't afford. I have a deep cornerback for us. Like the Johnny's did that one year we lost. They had five. They lost three of the quarterbacks. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. It's just a safety thing and stuff. I think that's what they're trying to avoid. A lot of them are not spring chicken anymore. They're not spring chicken anymore. They're like WB and stuff. Oh. Be that as it may, healthy seven or nine, 26 to 30 year old quarterbacks, or 30 plus, is probably not a bad thing. <laughs> so it's. But there is a few things you can do. If Malcolm Butler does get out of there, he might crack this squad or do some other stuff with those guys and just keep them on the roster. Yep. Ow. But there's talks that they're not gonna... They might bring, uh... If, if Butler leaves, they're gonna bring in, uh... Darrell Rebus. Cause he got... Look, uh contract with the Jets. 
they did in 2010, 2012 or so. They're supposed to be five years, but they recused themselves out of the judge. They judged me not to do so. So he actually, he didn't get the parachute or the golden ticket. Come on, man. And then... Yep. So I got our receivers back there. For this game. I don't know. And... And he's back. Yeah. And it's cooked in the slot again with Mitchell. So now their team is pretty well off. They've got a huge decision. Thanks to some of lunch pal and a good year and some return stuff. They got uh high tower on the side. And they got Ely in a tray and Brandon Cooks in a tray. So they don't need a wide receiver. They can take another defensive end. Even those flowers, trade flowers. So technically they don't need another defensive end. But in any one of those spots, whether one two, they can try to trade up some of their stuff with Garoppolo and Butler to get a pick in the first or third round and get an offensive lineman, a wide receiver, uh, an offensive lineman, a defensive end, a defensive tackle, or a linebacker. Yep. One. Oh, then they could have an opposite new linebacker of Mingo Nikovic. McClellan's pretty good. But they want a first round closer that, that Hightower can, can try. Oh, like a Doomer Bowl or something like that. Oh, I'm putting on the opposite of Hightower. And they're going to use a first round and third round draft, first and second round draft, after trading Garoppolo and Buckley. Oh, to get a second round pick, a first round pick, and then get a uh, uh, high end linebacker opposite of Hightower. Shit. So they're in a good spot. Bit of the week. No. No. Okay. So that that's good. That's, that's really good. I just. But I'm. You're. You're. you're <laughs> so what? He's got two more weeks. All right. Let's go get Trey at the end real quick. All right. Let's see if we can also save too. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. And I can't. Alright, so close that.